Hello, my name is Ali and Ali, and I'm going to present to you the shifting of Dan the Grey. <clears throat> a bunch of boys will repeat us at the man in the ukulele, the kid that handles the music books and sitting with Jack Taunton, back at the bar in a solo game that dangerous Dan the Grey, and watching his love was the He's like, I love the lady that nine is lay. When out of the night, which is fifty below, and into the den in the glass, the stumbled on my fresh from the creek, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave and scarcely the strength of a nose. But he tilted a poke of dust on the back and he called for drinks on the house. There was none that could place the stranger's face that we searched just asked for a play. But we drank his health and laughed to drink was dangerous down the grave. There's men that somehow just grip your eyes and hold them hard like a spell. And such was he, he looked to me like a man who had lived in hell. With, his, with a face most hair and a dreary stare of a dog whose day is done, as he watered the green stuff in his glass, the drops fell, one by one. Then I got to figuring who he was and wondering what he'd do. I turned my head and... There was wa and there watching him was the lady that's now in his lips. His eyes were levering round the room, and he seemed in kind of a dance. Till at last that old kid had fallen away with his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink, and no one else on the stool. So the stranger stumbles across the room and flops down like a fool. In a buck skin shirt that was laced with dirt, he sat and I saw him sway as he clutched the keys with his towel in hand. By God, but that man could play. Were you ever out in the great alone when the moon was awful clear? And the icy mountains hemmed you in with a silence you could almost hear. With only the howl of a timber wolf as you camped there in the cold. A half dead thing in a stark dead world. Clean mad for the muck cold gold. Well, high overhead, green, yellow, and red. North light swept in bars. You've had a hunch with the music meant hunger and night and stars. And not the hunger of the belly kind that vanished with bacon and beans, but the gnawing hunger of the lonely man for a home and all it means. For a fire, sad far from cares that are for walls and the roof above. But oh, so crowned full of cosy joy and crowned with a woman's love. A woman dearer than all the world and as true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through her rouge, the lady that's known as Liz. Then all of a sudden the music changed so soft that you could scarce could hear. But you felt that life had been looted clean of all that it once held dear. That someone had stolen the woman you loved. That her love was the devil's lie. That your guts were gone and the best for you was to crawl away and die. It was the crowning of a heart's despair and it thrilled you through and through. I'll guess it. I guess I'll make it spread misery, said Dangerous Dan the group. The music on the side of The bell stopped in a pent up flood. And it seemed to say, repay, repay, and my eyes were blinded with blood, and the thought came back of an ancient wrong. Where was it? Oh, ancient, the thought came back of an ancient wrong. And it stung like a frozen marsh. And the last awoke to kill to cue. And then the music stopped to crash. And the stranger turned in his eyes. They burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt. He sat and I saw him sway. His lips went in kind of a grin. And he spoke and his voice was calm. And boys, he said, says he, you don't know me. And none of you care a darn. But I want to state my words are straight. I'll bet my post are true. That one of you is a hand from hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head, and the lights went out, and the two guns blazed in the dark. And the woman screamed, and the lights went up, and two men lay stiff and stark. Pitched on his head, and pumped full of lead, was dangerous Dan McGrew, while the men from the crease lay crushed to the best of the lady that's known as Lou. These are simple facts of the case, and I guess I ought to know this, but they say that the stranger was Christ with hooch, and I'm not denying it's not. So, I'm not so wise as the loyal guys, but strictly between us two, the one that kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lily.
I hope you liked the poem I read by Robert Service, The Dangerous Dan the Green. Now I've got to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.